Hit up music. Okay. Wait, you have to wait. Take lose key. Lose key. Lose key and fade up the audio. Lose, lose key. Fade up. Hello and welcome to another episode of Fictional Truths. I'm your host, Kenny Clams. Tonight we have an extraordinary report from a private college in upstate New York. Our investigative reporter, Keith Hannon, has traveled to Ithaca College to investigate a rumor sent to us to see if it is in fact true. I must inform you that the people appearing on camera have asked that we not use their real names or voices for fear of prosecution, yet amazingly had no problem showing their faces. There's certain questions we just don't ask, and we suggest you don't ask them either. So, without further hesitation, let's begin our story. Bumper track. This is sunny and beautiful right, Ithaca, New the, York. It's warm and pleasant here, where 6,000 right. students call right. home. But behind the beauty lurks something yes, hideous and ugly nice that 5,999 students weren't willing to talk about. But we here at Fictional Truths have found the one bird that is chirpy, and he says there's something foul in the food of Ithaca. We begin in Egbert Dining Hall. Matthew Hodgson says there's something dangerous in the food Ithaca College is serving. He claims friends of his must have mysteriously perished, and he himself has endured violent flashes of vomiting at unpredictable times. We attempted to go straight to the source of this, but were not treated well by the food service staff. In fact, not was I only violently pushed out, but I think this employee took a rather obscene shot at me out of view of the camera. Though discouraged about our failure to get into the dining hall and the fact that I was physically and verbally assaulted, we would not take no for an answer. We were able to sneak the camera into a back door. Here you see the kitchen and the man walking by with a box full of kittens and puppies. Their cries for help were not picked up by our recording devices. After seeing the true colors of the dining services, Matt and I decided we had to further our investigation. We decided to head for the campus pub, where apparently more dirty deeds take place. Here we caught an employee who left the bathroom without washing his hands. He never breaks stride as he heads to the coffee shop where he will fill up cups with a hearty mix of caffeine and disease. After seeing this display, we needed more information. And when you need more information, there's only one place to go. And Mike and Chief Kenny, we're on. There we go. Well, welcome back. Okay, ready, ready camera two? Ah, I'm just going to pour myself a no, little drink it. here. Ah, from Keith's reports. Uh, we see that there seems to be a yeah, lack of tolerance down. for questions right, on the okay. Ithaca Ready campus. And to be quite honest, right now, I'd be violating the zero Thank tolerance you. under state law. But anyways, though he'd hit some <laughs> brick walls early in his investigation, Keith would not give up okay, ready, in his adjust. pursuit of the absolute truth. And uh, as we get back to the story, I think I'm going to indulge in a little bit of the uh, absolute myself. We wanted more information, so we decided where better to go than the information desk. But we were treated a little bit abruptly by the help. As an employee for Ithaca College, I cannot give out the desired information which you seek. Granted, this is an information desk, but I simply can't give it to you. You're not getting anything out of me. You smell bad and are a hideous man. Now I need you to leave before I send you to hell. We're gonna, we're gonna get, zoom in on well, sleeper. granted, ma'am, I may not be the best brother. mind or best looking that, man, but good. we are just interested in the food service only. Yeah, we're gonna come in too. I'm not answering any of your questions. Now you need to get out of here. Yep, switch. Well, so far, Ithaca has not treated us with a smile. We have been called things too extreme for this show, so with no one left to turn to, we take it to the students. What's your story, son? I've, the food has ruined me. Since I've been eating it, I've developed itchy rashes all over my body. Red fuzzy ones and black scaly ones. I can't go anywhere that involves me removing my shirt, because whenever I do, people get ill. I took my shirt off to swim, and an 80-year-old woman went into cardiac arrest. I'm told she almost made it. It's just awful what this food has done to me. 
I thought it looked good, but I should have known better when the turkey breast caused burning in my urine. Matt told us he himself has had run-ins with bodily breakdown. He said after a few months he noticed considerable deterioration of his right toes on his right foot. Apparently he's lost one and another has begun sprouting mushrooms and other fungus. He says tough acting tenactin isn't strong enough for this stuff, but on the lighter side kids dig the shrooms. But Matt isn't the only one who has been affected physically by this food. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I'm blind. Lose it. Plain and simple. I should have realized something was wrong when every time I had some egg salad, my corneas caught fire and uh, my retinas dissolved. But between egg salad and sight, I mean, you have to take egg yep. salad. Sight cannot compare to the eggy goodness of an egg salad sandwich. I'm sure, I'll never see my girlfriend too. again or play sports. Like but I, I can't really blame Ithaca. I enjoy a little sa a sandwich with a little kick to it. I ate the dining hall food every day and never thought it was hurting me. But then a minor problem occurred. I started going through some emotional changes and sure enough I found out I'm pregnant. So I have a dining hall to thank for a fetus growing in my body. The only question is what species is it? But the doctors say there's definitely a 30% chance that it's human. <laughs> Well, after these terrible stories, it was good to find someone else investigating from a higher law branch, but he was a little stubborn to give up his identity. No, man, I'm not from the FBI, not even close. Yo, you're whack being out here with your suit and camera. I'm not investigating nothing. I'm representing with my style. No more questions. I gotta split. And take any. That's it.